let's take a look at the series of setups that we have uh, for the um, for the algo that we have. So we have two specific setups that we've been going over in the conference calls. Uh, we've, we have two recorded conference calls already. Just go to daytradingthefutures.com, go to recent videos, play series one and series two. The two setups we have, we have what's called a full retracement zone trade where you're buying inside of the zone on a pullback, on a retracement. So we have a full retracement zone. That's our one setup. And what we're doing is we're waiting till we get inside of our ATR zones and we're looking for a reversal inside of these zones. We have specific zones that should reverse the market and all these markets. So that just happened on the NASDAQ futures uh, here um, 15 minutes ago. Then the second setup we have, because the full retracement, because it got below 20% on our oscillator down here. The second setup we have, and I went over this in the conference call, and I've spent about 45 minutes going over this setup, these two setups, is we have what's called a momentum trade, or I call a MOMO. And that one occurred right after our full retracement zone, which they typically do. Typically, we come to my zone, we get some momentum, and then the MOMO sets up right here. Why, why it's called a momentum setup? My oscillator then, it doesn't get below 20. See how it stays above 20? When we get a pulling bar, a green reversal bar. So that indicates there's momentum in the market to carry us up, which it did on the NASDAQ futures. So this is the NASDAQ. This is the December contract. We just rolled over this morning. It just happened. So here's our full retracement zone. It got down to our zone. I got the error that automatically fired on my 12020, my longer right here. It's a 12020 Uni Rinko bar. <clears throat> and then it came up to a Momo. I have my MAs did not cross over at all. They stayed above each other on the retracement. And consequently, I'm above my ATR's green. The key is the ATR. If your ATR is not green, you cannot buy. If the ATR is red, you cannot. I mean, ATR is green, you have to buy, no sells. And vice versa, if it's red, you do not want to look for buys. So there's your Momo. You get the pullback, red reversal bars. The MAs don't cross. Oscillator does not go below 20. That's a Momo. And then this is another one. This is why I want to do the video. This is called an extreme Momo. Another momentum setup. We have the oscillator does not get below 20, and it does not go below 80. So this is an extreme buy for a blow-off rally. And this happens in all markets. It happened in the S&P a lot this week also. You'll see this happen over and over again. So this is a Momo trade, but it's got a little twist to it. The twist is the oscillator didn't even get below 80. That means there's an extreme buying pressure in the market and we see higher highs as far as that goes so then just happened as we're doing the video it went right down to what again it went into my zone there's my zone there's my wpt rolling position traders being caught i got my red bars being printed uh, uh, my wpt bars there's my arrow that fired automatically this is what's called a full retracement zone Full retracement, just like earlier, and I'll show you in the S&P, we had one just like this this morning. Full zone, this is a full zone retracement that happened on the NASDAQ futures just now. Okay? So, went from a full retracement into MOMO, into MOMO, into a full zone. Let's go into the S&P this morning. The S&P, if we take a look at it, we've had since midnight Last night, we've had how many zones? We've had three full zone retracements. Here they are. These are three full zone retracements that happened on the ES. This is a December contract. You had three shots on the ES this morning on the 12020. Here's one, reversal, caught it right inside the zone. Here's two, 
reversal right at the zone. This is too far away from the zone. That's a momentum play, which I'll show you. And here's three. So you had three full reversal zones this morning on the S&P. One, two. That's how important this zone trading is. This algo puts these zones in automatically for you. All right, so you know you're you're getting the highest probability reversal points. I said my target was 4062 here this morning on high value area, and there it is. It just hit it. We're rolling off of it pretty hard right now. That's because of market profile. We we know the breakdown in the market will be 4040 today. We know another inflection point is going to be 4050 right at the control point in the VWAP. Our HVA hit the high almost to the tick. That was our target on this zone retracement. So that's the three zones that happened. Then we had a momentum set up right here. The oscillator did not get below. We're not, we didn't hit the zone, but we had a arrow that fired on an oscillator that never got below 20. Two momentum setups happened here also this morning. So you had three retracement full zones, zone trades, and then you had two momentum trades an entire session here this morning so far so three full zone trades two momentum trades that's what we're looking at on this last zone trade i said the target in the room would be 4062 up here why did i say that because our market profile that has worked since 1985 this specific profile has worked since 1994 it's volume based Right there, our volume profile suggested this would be the target. It stopped almost right on it and is reversing. Just like the control point has stopped, that's the most volume that's traded in the ES instrument. We don't use standard 30-minute market profile. That's pretty much for novice traders. A lot of traders use that short-term profile. I prefer a longer profile. I like position, positioning, looking for these big moves off the control. You know, everybody uses the same profile, 30 minute, 30, 30 minute. I believe that is just because everybody writes about it in all these books. So you get a lot of amateurs coming in thinking the 30 minute market profile is the way to go. And it chops you up a lot. Where we use a longer profile, we try to look for these big inflection points. We know if we break below this 4040, that will put us below the daily 50 day MA. Our 50 daily 50 EMA is sitting right at that 4040 level right here. We have the dead cat bounce. We got a rally, a relief rally in the S&P. We're just above it, 4056. If we get below 4040, they could sell this market off again. This is a seller's market. The daily chart broke down. If you take a look at it. When we first broke out here, I said my target's 4050. I was correct in the technical analysis. It stopped right at my level. Then I said my target in the room would be down to the 20. It hit it. Then we broke down below the 20. I said look for the retest, which we did. Then after the retest, we said, hey, look for it to slide all the way down to 50. It sure did that. Then it broke to 50. Look for the retest at 50. It stopped almost within two or four ticks or two ticks of the S&P. That day, sold off. Now we're straddling the 50 again on the daily. That suggests that this market is not in a bull run. We're still really ugly on the daily charts. You know, we're looking very bearish on the daily, looking very bearish on the weekly. Look at the weekly. I mean, we could slide all the way down to 33, 3,500 to the 200 on the weekly on the S&P. And then we can slide down to 550 to 3300. So this is a bounce we got in the market. So we knew it was going to be a bounce here today. So I said that this could be the high, the big inflection point, 4062 on the S&P based upon our market profile, which it was. So we're not we're not getting excited in, uh, of a upside breakout until we break above 4062. Now if we get above 4062, it should gravitate up to 4120. That is my 20 on the daily sitting at 20, so you got a nice little push to the upside of 60 S&P points if we do that. But if we don't close above 4022 or 4062, 
And if we ever break this triple support here in the VWAP control point, then we should break, retest today, and we should slide down to 4040, would be the ultimate 10 possible S&P point slide. If we ever break 4040 going into today or next week, that opens the door all the way back down to that 3500 to 3300 again. So um, that's what we try to do is we try to find these big inflection points. This, this gives you ultimate targets, market profile, but then we can ultimately use my retracement zones, the algo, let it do the work for you and find these two setups, four retracements at 3 m today and then into the MOMO. So if you need any clarification on these two setups, uh, play Series 2. Series 2 under daytradingthefutures.com. We educate traders on these, on these two inflection points, these two setups. A little educational video is on Series 2 under recent videos. So that's a good one for you to play to see why these came up and why these are possible reversals. And we go really in depth why the momentum and the full retracement zone indicator works. Now this works on all futures, all stocks, all currency, Forex, and it also works in the crypto market. So um, any markets that you do, you look for full retracements and momentum setups using this algorithm.